All right, Rock the House, Resolum Training 101. We're going to dive into creating a composition for an LED wall that is stage left and stage right, as well as a DJ facade. So let's get a picture of what we're going to do. Currently, our DJ facade is a two tile high, six tile wide. Our stage left and stage right screens are three tiles wide and six tiles tall. Um, we're going to be using 2 millimeter tiles, so for the purpose of this, they're 176 pixels up and across. Take that by our 3 tiles. So we know that this width here is 528. And then we're going to also multiply. 176 times 6 to get our height. Lovely. And we know two seven, this is going to be the width here. And our height is just 176 times 2. So 352. Okay, so yes, we're going to be going over Resolume, but what we need to understand first is what is our canvas? What are we going to be putting video graphics on? I like using Paint to or a PNG or Vector to show exactly what we're going to do. You can even just draw it on a piece of paper. Best way to find out is what is my screen size? Okay, so right now you can see I have little gaps made, of course. You could do that all within the program. What we need to find out is the complete width of the wall to see what our actual resolution is. A native screen resolution is usually 1920 by 1080. Um, some older monitors might be 720. As we get into the newer versions of things, there's 4K and, uh, and even 8K. What we're limited to is our video processor. So to start off, let's find out what our dimension is. Okay, so we have 528 times 2, because we got left and right, plus 1056. So already we're at an ultra wide. Okay, let's go ahead and see what our tallest part is, which is 1056. Now I like keeping a reference uh, close to where we are, okay? So I'm going to pull this aside. We now know that our wall <clears throat> in its complete integrity, if these two walls were butted together, completely one whole canvas, our width is 2,112 2, and our height is 1,056. Okay, great. What does that mean? Our composition when you open up Resolum, you'll notice our untitled 1920 by 1080. We need to make this work to our height and width of the new screen. We're going to go to our composition, settings. Let's go ahead and give this uh, a training name. Description. We'll do left and right wall, width center facade now size we can type this in manually I, I urge you not to um, when you type these in manually you limit yourself to the size of the screen let's say for for argument's sake we make our composition size the exact width and height it limits us if we end up adding tiles Say we're doing pre-work, if we add tiles, if we go wider, um, if we want to have larger pieces of graphics and we need to scale things, what it doesn't allow us to do is be flexible. So we're going to turn this into a complete 4K, which gives us the width 
and the height that we want. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, 3840 by 2160. Lovely. We now have double our height that we need. And we have almost double our width that we need. Okay. Now we have this. We're going to go into our screen output. So you'll notice I have currently displays configured already. You'll see here this is actually what's plugged in. What you're going to want to do is go to advanced. You'll see I already had a uh, simple version. We're going to have a new screen. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Okay. We're going to label this screen RTH LED wall DJ. Look how the virtual output states 3840 by 2160. That is matching the composition that we have up top. That's appropriate. That allows us to use all of this space. If we have a whole bunch of different tiles going somewhere else, if we have any additions, we have plenty of room to place things. You'll notice we have slices. These slices are areas of interest almost per se. You will use these to help capture something on your world and the output will then go as well. So you're able to actually, you can manipulate the input capture part. I like to think of this as, this is almost a camera. Your, your large canvas, the 31, six, you know, uh, your whole 3840, 2160 is a big picture. Your input slice, input selection is your camera. What do I want that on? And then your output transformation is what it's telling your, your HDMI out to do. Let me explain this better by providing a display card. We're going to show test card outside of output. Okay. You'll notice now my canvas, I have an output monitor here, shows the output is a complete Resolume test card. Pretty cool color code, has a uh, line going across to help show that there's sync if you have multiple walls. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take this slice back to zero. I'm going to make it the exact size we already had. And our output transformation, you'll notice this output, while I can move it around, yes, I can also, I can ad adjust its sizing. This is do a direct reflection of the input card. So let's pretend for this moment that I want to capture this small DJ facade real quick. So I don't need all of this information for this DJ facade. It's way too much info. Think of the LED right now. Um, if we go back to our math on it, our LED is only 1056 wide, 352 high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our input selection, slice one, I'm going to use this input slice. I'm going to rename it to DJ. And then I'm going to change our width and height. You notice on the DJ facade, width and height 10, 56. And our height is 352. Now, Reslim is pretty sweet. You can actually just type in 2 times 176, and it will do the math for you. Right? Let's see, 352. Lovely. And then uh, we can pretend it's going to take the center info. Maybe maybe I want it to capture this, um, this little Reslim here. I'm going to center on Reslim. So let's see what it's going to look like on the LED wall. Notice that that is my capture. If I move this down here to there, it's going to adjust it. But it's not the right sizing on this output. My input selection, once that's chosen, we're going to go to our output. And we're going to right click on our DJ facade. And match input shape. 
you can also use the width and height on the right column to adjust. But what we're going to do, we're going to right click the name and match input shape. Now that looks correct. That is pixel for pixel what is here and lovely. Okay, so we have our, our DJ facade. We're working on capturing the left wall and the right wall now. So let's make that up quite quickly. We're going to make a slice and I'm going to label this slice stage left. Stage left, you'll notice I got this all there and it's, see how it's capturing it kind of odd and funky. It's doing a lot of wacky stuff. So we're going to go center. I'm going to take my width. It's three times 176. And our height is six times 176. Now maybe for this wall, I'm going to just capture this nice column here to help give us a con uh, 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 some different view. Again, stage left. We're going to match input shape. Lovely. And we're going to cheat. We're going to duplicate. We have a left and right, correct? So it's going to be the same exact size left and right. Duplicate. Rename. And now you'll notice when you duplicate, it actually puts it directly on top. Makes the exact same item. So we're going to stage right. We're going to put it over here. We're going to put it over here. Obviously, the stage left, stage right, you'll notice I'm using left of my composition, right of my composition. So it might be backwards to wherever we are. Just depends on how we're going to flip our content. But naming it is very important. And you'll notice I now have three pieces that look like this. We are not done yet. Okay, right now we have created a composition that allow us to put, put graphics down. We've created a composition that allows us to show a test card and allows us to capture the points that we want. We've created slices and we've created a wall. The next video tutorial we're going to go over is lining it up to your video map so you're smart or Nova to make sure the LED processor gets the correct info. Thank you.